Hi guys, welcome to this quick video on basically modifying the VM params file and the settings file for Star Sector. So, first thing is, where are these files? The VM param files, of course, is in the main Star Sector directory, shown here on the screen. Now, we open this up in WordPad, this is what we see. You see on the third line there, you have your XMS and XMX, which is what we're going to be changing. We do something like this, which is in my own file. This will allow for additional RAM to be allocated to Star Sector, useful for mods and so on. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the VM params file. Obviously, make a copy of this and the settings file when you're modifying them. So, settings file is located here. And it's a .json file that you can open up in WordPad. We'll start looking at the configuration there. There's a lot of stuff in this file. As you can see here, you can edit many, many different areas of the game. But we'll just go over a couple of the basic stuff. You just don't need to know any of this. Feel free to have a look at it, though. And again, make a backup. Okay, first thing we're going to look at is Alt Transfer. A pretty simple thing that allows you to mass transfer items. Just want to change that from false to true. Obviously, you want to pause throughout this if you want to have a look at these lines. This is what it does. I'm going to the market, salvage goods, whatever. Hold down Alt and mouse over whatever the hell you want. Automatically transfer over and back really handy when you're mid to late game wanting to move stuff around. If you're looking for larger fleets for yourself and the AI, these two lines here can be switched uh, to whatever you really want. Don't go nuts on them, but uh, yeah, you can change from 30, which is the base game, to whatever. I usually change to about 50. And that will just allow you to have more ships in your fleet, the enemy fleets. And with larger fleets, you'll want larger battles. So in the options menu, the default battle size, our maximum is 400. Of course, we can go in and change this again. Um, I usually go up to about a thousand on this. Uh, you will suffer if your computer can't handle it. But then in the options, you will see that uh, the maximum deployment is now a thousand. That'll be shared out between you and the enemy in standard fashion. You can pretty much change most aspects of the game in this file, uh, including your maximum player level, uh, skill points you get per level, and so on. But, uh, it's best that you go through this and see all the little details that you can change. But again, make a backup. Yeah, hope this was helpful to people. And uh, if it is, maybe I'll make some more of these. Anyway, Sveik, have a good one. See you next time.